Hi everyone, welcome to another session of Word of the Day or Sound of the Day for um, this particular one. We've done a lot of groups of consonants, especially triads that have kind of different phonetic values in the two modern standards. Today I thought it might be interesting to do our two R sounds. So in Armenian, we have two R sounds. One is a tap or a flap, pronounced Z, kind of that soft R. And another is a trilled R, pronounced R. So when kind of the IPA transliteration, both of them look like an R sound. So the flap or tap, both of these are alveolar consonants, meaning your tongue touches your alveolar ridge, the part right behind your upper teeth. The difference is this soft one is one touch, right? So your tongue touches that upper ridge behind your upper teeth. The trilled one, the, your tongue forces air out of your mouth and causes a vibration with multiple touches. So if this is one touch, kind of one puff of air, this is so there's a vibration that creates this trilled sound. So for example, in Spanish, right? If you were to say the word dog, perro, it's that same trilled R. In terms of the names, so if you know in the Armenian alphabet, each letter had its name. So this trilled one was ra, and this tap or flap is ze. Um, now, let me give you some kind of word pairs so you can see the, the difference, right? So we can say var versus vaj. So in English, obviously I'm using the same. Yeah, so this is bright, this is below or down, right? We can say tar versus taj. So tar with the trilled R is letter, tar is the command form of to take, right? To take this away. We can do ber versus bej. So ber is a load, bej is to bring, right? Again, the command form. So particularly in Eastern Armenian, the distinction is very concrete, very much articulated, so that if you were to pronounce these the same, people would have to kind of, would get confused and wonder which of the pair do you mean. In Western Armenian, this distinction is much less articulated, and especially in heritage language speakers, so Armenians who speak Armenia, Armenian outside of Armenia, in my own research, I've noticed that this distinction is slowly lost in favor of the soft R, which is much more frequent in Armenian and has a stronger equivalent, for example, in English. So just interesting dynamics to keep in mind. In any case, the Armenian alphabet has two R letters, two corresponding sounds that were prevalent in classical Armenian, very prevalent in Eastern Armenian, more so less prevalent in distinction in the kind of pronunciation in Western Armenian and among heritage language speakers.